Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hey guys, um, just to make it clear, we need to understand that we serve a God that is of a God of love, okay? God loves everybody on this earth. He dislikes the sin. Hear me and hear me well. God loves every person on this earth, but dislikes sin. Sin will not get you into the kingdom of heaven, okay? So let's be clear. There's no judgment here. It's just the word of God and God hates sin. Okay, be blessed. ...about homosexuality. 12 years old, he and I were having a conversation about homosexuality and I was explaining to him as a mother, this me and his conversation, my viewpoints on it. I was talking to him about, you know, the importance of his manhood, never bowing down to anybody. You don't bow to anybody but God. And if you think about having sex in a homosexual relationship, you realize that you have to bow for another man to even have, you don't bow to nobody. This is just me talking to my son because his father is in prison, okay? And had been in prison for most of his life. So this is me trying to raise my son. And i never forget, like after having that conversation with him, I think it was two days later, he came and walked in the room and he said, mama, you, you don't know what you're talking about. He said, the president just passed gay rights. So he said, I can be gay, so I'm gonna be gay. And I sit there asking myself then, now how in the hell did Barack Obama get in my house, bitch? You ain't bought not one can of milk, not one pamper. You ain't sat at not one doctor's office. How is it that because you passed the law and made something legal, that it overrides what I say in my house as a parent. So this is why we absolutely have to begin paying attention to laws being put in place, policies being put in place, what they're teaching our children in school, because you'll think, right, that you're, you're teaching your children something and you're raising them one way, but then you're faced with societal norms. And when we don't speak up and we, we don't fight back, then we see stuff happening that's out of control, like the Equality Act. Like them telling our little three and four year old boys that they can be <clears throat> girls. Come on, man. Come on. At some point, right? We just have to say enough is enough. And I hate who. Hello, Instagram. Sorry it took me. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope all has been well. Hope all has been well with you guys. Um, just before we get into what I want to talk about, let's just quickly pray. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, it's a pleasure to come and be a servant to you guys, to serve you guys, and um, yeah, to just to um, to blow the whistle on these end times, things that are happening, and uh, maybe some people are suffering silence, maybe um, people that would like other people to talk about it and share it, or you know, just just to blow the whistle, things that are happening, and maybe some people just too busy doing life. Okay. So let's just quickly go into prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you the glory. I give you the adoration. I bless your mighty name, Lord God. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit will come and have his way. Holy Spirit, will, um, speak through me, Lord. Have your way. I welcome you into this wire. Live. I cover the live in the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for your viewers. I pray for anyone that will come across this video, Lord God. I pray that it will touch the right people, Lord God. I pray that... Um, you know, nobody takes offense. And I just pray, Lord God, that people leave their comments so we, we can pray for people, we can pray for families, and just to let people know that there's there's um, people thinking of them in these times. And just, yeah, just to pray for families and friends or whoever can be going through this topic that you've put onto my heart to share with your people. I cover this live in the precious blood of Jesus again. I pray that... Um, you know, it will touch the right people again. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will have his way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, guys. Amen. Guys, so quickly, I'm not going to be long. Um, Today's what? Today's June the 4th, okay? So I'll do my study time and then through my study time with the Lord, um, I was led to um, to watch um, a, um, a lady and her son, you know, a lady and her son. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Then I'm going to put the free links in the description box. Please, please, please. Like if it's your topic or if you know somebody's going for it or if you know it can help somebody else, forward this video to somebody else so it can help them. And me personally, I think that the church is really, really sleeping right now because people 
parents are going through things and they don't have no one to turn to yeah um so-called church are just doing business as usual yeah um i.e sort of about the cash just talking like a load of nonsense whereas um the real children of God at this time are calling things out. When I say things, deception, yeah? We're supposed to be calling deception out. We're supposed to be praying and praying and asking for um, um, the grace, like for God to have... Um, for God to have mercy on us at these, these end times, yeah? So basically, um, Adassa, what's the topic? The topic is, um, after I started stu studying, the Holy Spirit led me onto a mum that went onto Dr. Dr. Phil in the, in the US, yeah? So she's gone on to Dr. Phil and her son is trans into a girl. And then, um, you know, um, they've gone on to Dr. Phil thinking that she was going to get some help or whatever, like counseling or something, some some revelation re revelation between her and her son. But it didn't work like that. It made matters worse. Um, and I think, I don't know whether she's a Christian, but she's she, she was just trying to state that he was born as a boy. So she's not going to call him a girl you know so there's um the dr phil um show when she went on to the dr phil then she went on two other platforms yeah and he the boys as well the son's there as well so you're gonna i'm gonna put the links in so you can see what this woman's going through but that those um dr phil's and the platforms are not the right platforms to go and speak about what she believes in believes in because i think it's that she she believes in what was originally man is man and woman is woman but you you can't go to the the system of the the, the system of the world to valid to validate your point you have to be in the, the circles of the christians for them to understand like this is what i'm trying to say because when you go to the enemy's camp and you haven't put on the armor of god you're not gonna you're not you're, you're not gonna achieve what you want to achieve do you understand so that's what that's what i got out of it she shouldn't have gone to those platforms to think that she can um voice her opinion or what is right in her eyes as a mother for her son which he doesn't want to be um known as a he, as far as he's concerned, he's a she. Now, okay, this did come out last year because I remember Gabrielle Union and um, her partner, disclaimer, I remember they come out with their 11-year-old or 12-year-old, yeah? But then the thing is as well, now in this black community, it's, it's, it's coming out now. Ever since that little boy came out, I think now it's coming out more. Like there's more black kids in America are coming out and like saying, this is this is who I am and this is, you know, this is how I feel or whatever, whatever. So for me, I've always told you guys, nothing just happens. Everything is a spirit. Yeah, we are spirit beings, but in a human being body, in a body. Yeah, but once this body is gone, we're spirits. Yeah. So now my thing is my heart goes out to this woman. I watched guys, seriously, I was in my body Bible studies. Then the Holy Spirit led me to this. Then I watched the Dr. Phil. Then I watched another two. Yeah. I'm going to put the links in. But my thing is like, who are these women or these families that are going through these things? Who are they to turn to? This is what the church is supposed to be doing. We are supposed to let people like this know that we're here. We're here and, and prayer. These things are not going to be dealt with by talking. These things are going to be dealt with by prayer. Yeah. So for me, and I did do, I released a video like a week ago onto, um, it was about um, pot potholes, like the doors that we open. Now, when you listen to um, the interviews, her son says, yeah, um, by the way, guys, I keep telling you, he is is, is turning to a she. So um, the son says that, um, ah, and my mom, the funny thing about my mom, my mom's got um, trans, all her friends are trans. That's the door she opened. She opened that door for that spirit to come in and go to uh, on her son. Yeah. So now these doors have to be shut. And how do they get shut? It's through prayer and deliverance. It's through prayer and deliverance. Yeah, this is when mom needs to go into her prayer closet or get into a like, you know, I've shared links before of deliverance, um, deliverance on this channel. I've shared deliverance ministers before I've um, recommended um, women of God and men of God that are in that area. Yeah, things are not done when you're dealing with spiritual things. They're not done by getting on social media and calling out your children. And the more you call them out, the more they go to that, that dark place, wherever you're trying to tell them not to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
but um it was so hard to it was so hard to see for this um poor lady because they're calling her narcissist and that this word as well it's just like they, all this year all i'm hearing is narcissist narcissist it's like this world like they get something and they run with it do you understand what i'm saying and everybody runs on that on on that bandwagon yeah the woman is clearly fighting for her son's soul like for her son but the way she's gonna buy it on these platforms is not the right way yeah because obviously as a christian as a born again you guys will understand that she has a valid point like for her child but we live in a system now where they've made it so much now that the child is more in control do you understand this system's been like this for quite a while the child is more control what is a child thing da -da 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 -da. so now this child is like hating on the mom she's she, he called his mom mental illness this that that and it's so bad because as for me that works with young people i'm looking back and i'm thinking i see this a lot I see young, I see this generation, I'm talking about from 19, I think from the year 90, yeah, 1990, yeah, to now, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to 2000, from 1990 to 2000, these children are, sorry to say, they're disrespectful, very disrespectful, yeah, because you can be a mum that's done so much and they'll portray you like a bad mum, they will, and especially if you're a single mum, She's a single mom. She's trying to do what she's doing. They're on Dr. Phil. The kids are calling her out. I was like, no. Is this what you get? Is this what you get when you're trying to protect? Anyway, as I said, it's not even up to for fighting. You've got to fight in your prayer room. You've got to fight in your prayer room. You've got to be connected to people that understand. Like, for me, like, um, what's it? Dr. Stella as well. She has a deliverance. If, if, if this lady was to go on YouTube... Dr. Stella has a deliverance ministry, yeah? People don't just wake up and be, um, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, yeah? Some think this, it's a spirit that's come upon that person, yeah? Guys, I can go on because you can think, oh, we, there's doors. Whether your um, mom's opened them doors, whether your grandparents have opened the doors, there are doors that, uh, that, that we have given legal right into our um, generation or our parents did it and you need to close those doors portholes you need to close those doors how do you close those doors in prayer you need to come against these spirits in prayer rape is a spirit alcohol is a spirit um homosexual is a spirit it, it's just it just goes on guys it goes on nothing just happens and the more you're in this crazy world because i keep saying again in my other videos yeah the bible tells us in romans 12 2 we're in this world but we're not of this world and the bible also tells us again train your children in the things of god so the day when they depart they'll come back if it means prayer, if it means what, what warring, it will come back. But if you think that you're going to raise your child in this generation, that, yeah, you can do what you want. That's, that's if you don't know Jesus. If, you, if you're not born again, you can even skip this. If you're not born again, you're not interested, you can skip this. But I'm talking to women that you know that you were raised once in your childhood as a Christian child. And then now in these generations, you find it challenging. This is a video for you to watch what I'm going to put in the description box, to try and find now, I've just mentioned, um, I've just mentioned, um, what's it, I've just mentioned Dr. Stella in Texas, yeah, if you go on her YouTube channel, she does prayers for deliverance, you can contact her ministry, yeah, and um, what would I do, uh, okay, I'll put in, I'll put in um, a link of a, a deliverance minister like you know you have to call up and see if you can get help there but guys that we should be helping mothers or parents that are going through these things they are boys raising up saying i am a girl boldly i'm gonna put the links in so you can see yeah it's deception and no one is calling it out it's deception yeah, but then because the land of the land that we live in here, they're gonna say, Oh, you're doing this, you're being bad. You, you just watch the video, guys. Watch the two links that I've put in. It's so bad the way they treated this woman, you know. But from a Christian point of view, I can hear where she's coming from. But that where she took the 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 platform for her, she, you're not gonna get no one's gonna listen to you in them forms where you've gone, yeah. You can't go and fight a battle in the devil's camp and think you're going to win, yeah? So guys, I've come up here to talk about all these um, trans, 
homosexual, um, 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 even, you know, you guys know what's out there, LGBTQ, yeah. Young kids, the one I heard last year or the year before, um, Gabrielle something, and uh, uh, her and her uh, uh, basketball um, partner, with the, like, was it 11 or 12? I don't know, yeah. Um, now, this one that I'm going to put into for you guys, he's 19. 19, very open, very light, he's decided that's what he's doing, it is what it is. Now, I've said to you guys, you do not fight with your child, yeah, you do not fight with your child. You love the child, but you don't take the nonsense and you take it into prayer, yeah, you take it into prayer. If that's what you want to do, you do that, but I'm going to pray for you, yeah, and you don't go back and forth from, on social media with your children, you don't do that. That's, and that that way the devil's like, yeah, because he wants, the more you push them like to that, that's, that's what the devil likes. But one thing I'll say to mothers in these times, you need to pray. That's if you're a Christian. That's if you know Jesus. Because anything I'm going to come up on this channel to talk about, it's going to be about Jesus. Yeah, I'm not here to tell people which God to serve. I'm just here to tell you that Jesus Christ reigns, rules, and he lives. And if you want your life to change, accept him today. Accept him today. And guys, I am not putting fear into people. We are not preaching about hell. Hell is real. The churches are not telling you because they don't want to tell you. They, 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 want the, the, um, um, they want money, yeah? But the fact of the matter is, if you continue in sin... You're heading to hell. If you don't know Jesus, put that you don't know him at all. You don't have a relationship. You're heading to hell. Not my, not, it's not my, it's not my um, commandments. It's not me. I haven't wrote this. It's what the, the Bible says. I'm just here to remind those that say they love God. This is not even the time to backslide. This is the time to get your life so, so right with God. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And, then, and there's another one, yeah, because people get it twisted. Sin is sin. Drinking, sex, um, um, straight sex, and you're, like, you're, you're, you're not married and you're having sex and you're not married or, or you're, you're um, playing out on your, your marriage or, or um, stealing, um, um, murder. Sin is sin. So I don't want people to think, oh, she's pinpointing on um, homosexual or lesbians. What? No, sin in the eyes of God. Sin is sin. Okay, yeah, whether it's drinking, whether you've raped someone, whether and if you haven't repented, like actually generally in your heart repented, Jesus will know because he knows everybody's motives. Do you understand? So guys, I need to go, yeah, because um, it's a, what, what is it here today? It's a Friday night and I have a class, but I just wanted to come and say, touch this. Please go in the description box. There's, I'm going to be put like um, free links and a deliverance and minister, yeah? If you're going through these things, guys, please um, drop your comments. I can um, um, pray with you guys. Drop your comments at the bottom. I love everybody. Jesus loves us all, but he does it. He cannot, he can't, the sin, he can't be in agreement with sin. He just can't because he's, he's a holy God. Do you understand? So guys, quickly, I will give you um, Genesis 19. Read the whole Genesis 19. And 5 and 6, it talks about when um, the men wanted to sleep with the angels, okay? Genesis 19, verse 5 to 6, okay? Then um, I'm going to give you here 1 Corinthians 6, um, 1 Corinthians 6, 9, yeah? Do you, do you not know that the wicked will not enter the kingdom of God? Hear it, yeah? The wicked will not enter the kingdom of God. That's 1 Corinthians um, 6 verse 9 okay and then it says um do not be deceived neither the sexual immorality yeah immorality immorality yeah nor um the lovers of idols your celebrities nor um adulterous yeah nor prostitution nor homosexual yeah nor um thieves the list goes on okay you go and read there and the list goes on so there was another one that caught my eye. I was like, what? There was another one. Okay. Leviticus. 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 Yeah. It says um, 18 to 22. Do not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That is. 
yeah god doesn't like it so you go and read that i'll put it i'll put the script i'll put the um, links in the description box i'm not bashing no one guys we're in the end times people need to clean out their house this is a house the, our body's a house and the house as well yeah so please guys go on to the description box tick um there's gonna be how many links were they there was dr phil and then there was another two okay then i'll put in a um I'll put in a link for a deliverance ministry. I'm not bashing no one. I love everybody. Yeah, I'm just speaking the word of God because people are not telling guys the truth and hell, hell is real. The devil knows he's got a short time. So he's going to grab all these young kids and just get them out. I can do what I want. My my legal right is da -da -da -da, and the list goes on. You guys just watch and see that the way the child is talking. Yeah, watch and see the way the child is talking. And then... Um, yeah, just watch and see the way the child is talking. And my heart goes out to, to the mother. But if you're going through any situations like this, leave your comments so me and my team can pray with you. Yeah, and um, I cover everybody. I cover everyone that comes across this video. I cover you in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Seriously, we're in um, some um, dark times and people are not talking. People with the big platforms, they're not talking. But you know what? Jesus is here for everybody. I'm going to pray for you guys and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I love you guys. Check in the description box for the links, yeah? All right, God bless you. And please, um, love people, you know, because they're going through a lot. Love people, yeah? Jesus loves everybody, but he just doesn't love the sin, yeah? The act of the sin. He loves everybody, but not the act of the sin. All right, guys, till the next time. Edassa, God bless you. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.